Hi, I'm Katie from What Katie Did and welcome back. Today I'm at the new Kyoto to Catwalk exhibition which has just opened at London's Victoria and Albert Museum and it takes you through the whole history of kimono and the influences it has on Western fashion and beyond. are made from one strip of fabric which is 12 meters long by 37 centimeters wide and in Japanese this, this fabric the amount of it is called a tan. Kimono have been the principal garment in Japan since the mid-1600s and the exhibition starts with the earlier styles. part of a theatrical costume. Men's kimonos were traditionally very plain, but they managed to add a little bit of colour with their under kimonos, which reminds me of businessmen today wearing a crazy pair of socks under their suits. The fabric that these kimonos are made from is actually European. Kimono have influenced Western fashion since the 1700s and from the late 1900s, Japan have actually designed a range of kimono especially for the export market. From the early 20th century, fashion designers in the West have been heavily influenced by the kimono, especially in the 1920s. to celebrate certain events, including this obi belt which was made for the 1937 Olympic Games. room in the exhibition focuses on kimono from the 20th century. It includes designs by Western designers who have been influenced by the kimono and of course John Galliano is featured quite heavily with three of his designs in the show. The black outfit with the nylons from the last clip was by John Galliano as is this lilac outfit and this green outfit, all of which he made for the House of Dior. Also represented with this kimono he made for Bjork. And the red kimono inspired outfit was made by Jean Paul Gaultier for Madonna. The kimono on the far left belonged to Freddie Mercury. Plus, something for Star Wars fans. Kimono Kyoto to Catwalk runs until the 21st of June 2020 before going on tour. <laughs>